Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Metasploitable 2 so that you can hone your cybersecurity skills. For those of you who don't know, Metasploitable 2 is a deliberately vulnerable virtual machine which was created by Rapid7 and it has been set up with dozens of vulnerabilities for you to exploit in your own hacking lab. To download Metasploitable 2, you'll have to go to the first link in the description box below and that'll take you to the Rapid7 website. You'll see that they'll have two links on their website that you can follow. One of them is an internal web page that takes you to a place where you can add your information. Once you put in your information, they'll send you a download link. If you're not comfortable sending out your information to a random company on the internet, that's okay. They also have a second option here, which is a SourceForge link, which you can download the link to the virtual machine right here. Once the download's finished, it'll go into your downloads folder and you'll just want to export this. So you'll use something like 7-zip or WinRAR to export just by extracting here. And that'll give you this folder here. And inside are all the files that you'll need, but most importantly, you'll need this one right here. Next, you'll want to go to a virtual machine manager like VirtualBox. And unlike in my VirtualBox for beginner's guide, you can't just import this file because it's not an OVA. It's actually the virtual hard drive. It's the VMDK file. So to get this to work, you'll need to create a new virtual machine. So let's go ahead and do that now. And let's just call it something memorable. You could call it Metasploit2 or Metasploit, or if you have your own naming convention, you can use that as well. And let's type in Linux here, 64 bit. Cool, let's go next. So next up is to allocate your memory. Metasploit doesn't need too much. You can leave it with the gig that it has here, but if you wanna beef it up a little, you can do that as well. The most important part is this part here. So when you're setting up your virtual hard drive, you wanna select the second option here, which is use an existing hard disk file. Then navigate to this little file here and then click add and then navigate to your download section. Find the Metasploit VMDK here. Choose next. And then that's everything. So this is a summary of everything that we've made right here. So we've got base memory of one gig. We've got the Metasploit uh, VMDK attached to the disk. Perfect. So we'll hit finish here and then we'll just hit start on our Metasploit virtual machine and we'll go ahead and get this powered up and test to see if everything's working properly. And that's all there is to it. So you can now boot to the VM and everything is all good to go. And you can start exploiting some of the vulnerabilities and Metasploits. And if you need the login, it is MSF admin for the username and MSF admin for the password. You can also get the IP address so that you can start playing around with it by typing in if config. And there it is. That's our IP address right there. 2.15. If you found this video informative, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, until we meet again, keep learning and take care.